Welcome to Hydraulic Press Channel. Hi. I'm Lauri. I'm Hanna. And today we're going to continue with accidents. Today we have the most terrifying thing, or one of the most terrifying things. I can probably come up with a couple scenarios, but this is quite bad also. What happens if you leave your hand in hydraulic press and crush it? Nothing good probably. And uh, don't worry, we are not going to crush any hands today. I have only two and I need at least one and I have, want to keep one as a spare. So we are going to uh, simulate hand with grips. I'm not sure. I think these are poor grips. Mm -hmm. So the bones here are probably a bit tougher than on your hand, but I think it doesn't doesn't like really matter here. And uh, we are going to try with a couple different force settings and other variables. Uh, does it matter? Is it like five ton press or 300 ton press? What do you think? I think that doesn't matter. Yeah, and uh, to get best or worst possible results, I machine the press tools completely flat. And my goal is to have zero hand left between the tools. <laughs> So, like, uh, maybe like... <laughs> hey, what the hell? <laughs> Why people don't use kitchen axes more? I don't know. That would be a pain in the ass with a knife. Yeah. Yeah, but it's pretty simple concept. This goes now into the press. And before we continue with the video, I want to say that we are going to demonstrate like bad industrial accidents. This is educational video, and if you want, don't want to see like gruesome scenes with the simulated hands, stop the video now and believe it that it's going to be bad. Okay, so here is the setup. We have quite large tools. The simulated hand is between there and a couple cameras. And I put this to zero, like or one ton, because this is a large machine. Uh, if you put it to the zero, because the piston is so large, it still does like seven tons. It cannot be set under seven tons. So around seven tons is our first, first test. And this is like the smallest workshop press probably that you can get with any sort of motor. So this is the best case scenario, because I think nobody is going to crush their own hand with the hand pump accidentally. Like, oh no, it's hurting, <laughs> I keep pumping. Nobody is going to do that. Or like somebody is of course going to do that, but like, it's not an accident anymore at that point, it's something else. I say that it's not, it's something is going to, these are not going to be close together. It's going to stop the press before it, the steels are not going to touch. Should we do it just here? Yeah. Like this. Uh, I put it on medium speed. Oh, here it goes. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> this this is not pretty sight. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, uh. Uh, I hope we get that sound nicely on the yeah. film. But I was right. <coughs> the steel student thoughts. Mm. But still, you... This is like... <laughs> not I'm not a doctor, if you can believe it. But this is not optimal. It's like, it's not biology anymore, it's physics. Yeah. <laughs> and doctors can help when it's physics. It's, it's all gone. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Should we <laughs> ramp it up? <laughs> yeah. Okay, 100 tons. Yep. Okay, so far we have learned that even the smallest press, it's, it's, it doesn't really matter. All the presses, if you leave hands there, they are all like, they're all going to destroy your hand. So you have to always respect all industrial machinery. It's really dangerous. If it's like not used correctly or if it's not designed and built to be safe. After this cross, I can explain how, for example, this press prevents 
from me accidentally cross crossing my hands. So, 100 tons, is it going to be any different? I think no. Okay. Okay. Bones broke. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the like. And yeah. now the some of the bones are like out. But uh. it's 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 just gone. It's just gone. Didn't like matter. Uh. Yeah, but uh, now let's talk how you can prevent all this. Okay, Hanna is going to clean the mess. And I'm going to explain the safety. With the modern hydraulic press, like workshop press, there is specific speed for the piston in the EU that's deemed slow enough. You are going to like see that your hand is going to get crushed. And that speed is five millimeters per second. And uh, abs actually the smallest pump is about that speed. So I can show. It's like this. So if it's as slow as this, then you are going to, at least before like the hand is completely gone, you are going to notice that you are doing a terrible mistake. And, and you are going to stop the machine before you lose your hand. But on some applications, mainly when you are like actually like doing industrial production, like making multiple crushes, like making parts, the machine has to be faster so you can get more done. And if it's faster than five millimeters per second, there has to be some function that prevents you from putting your hand inside when the machine is moving at that speed. And usually the easiest way to achieve this is to have two buttons that you have to all the time push while the machine is doing its work. Then you have both hands on the buttons, so no hands can be inside of the press. And that's, re <coughs> that's really simple and cheap to build. But uh, we didn't want that here because we want to keep our hands free when we are like doing the videos. If we are holding cameras or using pop the pot or something, but we still wanted the speed. So we uh, have the light curtain here. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate. Actually, you can see it on the screen when I put the hand in. It sees that the hand is in. And sometimes we have to like do some like precise work, like hold something here and like run the press close to it or something like that. So the press is now moving even if your hand is like through the light curtain, but it's moving really slowly. And if I put the press now on the full speed like this and put the hand in, it's going to slow down. So this is quite handy. And also uh, it's important because there is quite often multiple persons. So I could be something doing here and Hanna is cleaning. And even if I put two hands on the buttons, Hanna can still have two hands inside of the machine. So that's not optimal. So the light curtain is really good here. And also we could use like switch on the door that nobody's inside of the room when the press does its thing. It really doesn't matter, but there has to be some function that prevents the press moving fast when somebody might have their hand inside of the machine. And uh, interesting fact is the fact that our old press is older than safety. It just goes with the full speed, even with the hands between there or not. But it's so old machine that it, it's, it's older than safety. I think it's year 95 in EU. All machines built after that has to meet CE, like requirements for safety and other, other aspects also of the machinery. And we can also demonstrate that this machine that, like the typical work cycle, like production press, where you just push the button or like the foot pedal and it does one up and down swing. And I think that's the like most common way how to like these accidents happens because the workshop press is there typically quite slow. This is really, really fast workshop press. Because usually if you just like install one bearing or like uh, straighten one piece of steel, you really don't have to like move the press much. 
So then it's much cheaper and more like reasonable just to make it slow enough to be safe. But because this is fast machine, we can do the like industrial uh, production accident demonstration also. And also one really important aspect of like well-designed safety features, they cannot be too annoying for the end user because if the safety things make the machine really annoying to use, then the user tends to remove them. And if you have the best and the most safe safety system and it gets removed, then it's like doesn't help at all. So you have to like really put thought into designing all this. So it's effective and people don't remove it. Okay, enough of safety. Uh, let's crush some bones with full power. <laughs> I think uh, now we're going to go out. Yeah. If it explodes for some reason, I don't want to get like mm -hmm. bone yeah. shrapnel to my face. Yeah. That's not optimal. Okay, but we can still look through the window. I had to go look, did it, I really put it on full power. It's not very dramatic. Oho! The, my goal of like completely extruding the bones, it didn't work out. They are very flat now. I think this could be like really good, like uh, dog, dog snacks yeah, for dogs. Yeah. When like, trying this. Yeah. Maybe we're going to uh, make a pet, pet, pet food factory. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. This is really disgusting, but uh -huh. uh, I, I think, I think even, even I, I, I thought like, is there any point of doing this? We all know what's going to happen, mm -hmm. but I fear the machine now twice as more than I used to. It's like when you see this here, I think this, it really makes the difference. Okay, now we have like production line press here. As long as I hold the button down, it's going to do its thing. It's going to go down and then it's going to go up. And after that, robot or worker is going to just put the new part in and do the same thing again. And when you are doing like same thing all over again, like eight hours a day, sometimes you get like complacent and you don't really like focus on what you are doing and on things like that it's really important to have the two hand dead bits, dead man's bits to be sure that your hands are out there and not like still have the hand on the part or something like that. But uh, in this case let's imagine that somebody has really old and dangerous press that doesn't have any safety functions and uh, I think this is going to be the worst one, because it's so fast over. Oh. Okay. Okay, it didn't reach the point where it wanted ah. to be. It's, yeah. uh, I forgot, I, I said this to be like mm. completely together. But this is important science still because this says that the thickness of the hand is 0 0.8 millimeters at this point. <laughs> That's the distance that it failed to travel to its final point. Mm. Mm. <laughs> and if you need special press, if you uh, have two person group or you want some speed on the workshop press or whatever you are doing, you can order profit press straight from us. There is sales email down in description and ProfiPress engineers can figure out with you and your engineers and like users of the machines what would be the best safety thing that would make the machine safe but also easy and fast to use. I really hope that everybody learned something mm -hmm. today, at least I did. Yeah. Uh, I have had more pleasant videos to do yeah. and more pleasant messes to clean for Hanna. Mm -hmm. But I think this was an important thing to do. Yeah, it was. So uh, don't stick your thingy where you wouldn't stick your dingy. Yeah. 
Uh, what else? Not operated by fuckwits. <laughs> Those are all important lessons that we learned today. Mm. Yeah, and that is all for today. Thank you for watching. And have a nice day.